This video is the third part in our series of sketching in MTW. We're going to draw the cross having joint. This is what we completed in the first two videos, uh, showing all the details of a trenching process. And uh, trenching is very important because uh, I won't be able to show this in the sketch that we're going to do here of the cross having joint. So uh, we needed to communicate what process was actually involved in making this joint as well. So we're going to draw the joint in the main dimensions of the joint. So we're going to start here with isometric grid paper. And I'm going to start somewhere up around the middle of the page. I'm going to draw a line off at an angle of 30 degrees and count over my five squares. And a vertical line from the lowest corner and take it straight down. And we're going to take 15 squares straight down. You can count them in five. So what I'm doing here is a five, every five, I'm going to draw a line at 30 degrees. Another way of looking at these 30 degrees lines is to consider them as horizontal lines. So anything that's horizontal in real life, we can draw as a 30 degree line in isometric. So again, the dimensions here, 15 down along, 5 for each section, and 5 across. So in the middle section, I'm going to want to make the shape of the cross. So I'm going across from the middle section, 5 each time. Now we're moving at quite a bit uh, faster pace than what we have done to date. And we have our cross completed here. Now once we have that done, I'm going to go from each of these points that I'm highlighting here now uh, back a distance of three squares and I'm going to use the 30 degree line as well so we can see that in, at the background of the, the sheet so each of those three I missed one I'll go back and three squares back from each of those points now another way of thinking this is that this back line now has to be part of these lines I draw behind here now three squares back I have to be parallel to the front edge. So it's really a mirror image of what's in front. So vertical lines and uh, join on each of the points. We have the outline shape of our cross Now uh, Those two middle lines that I've just given a little bit of a, a rub with the, the eraser to let make them less prominent in the drawing. And I'm going to go around the outside edges now. You can see that I'm taking on drawn all of the vertical lines first. If you felt comfortable drawing horizontal lines, you could turn the sheet around and treat them as a horizontal line. But I'm drawing them here now as vertical lines. Then all the 30 degree lines at the same time as well. And it's good practice even uh, if you're drawn on a sheet with no isometric grid lines to just have a go at drawing parallel lines at 30 degrees yourself. And even if they're not exactly 30 degrees, having them parallel and vertical lines parallel and horizontal lines parallel. So it's good for sketching. So all at the same time. And again, anchoring the hand when you're actually making your, your lines. So there we have the outline. What we want to do now is we want to do what we done earlier on, uh, make it into a material which we recognize as wood, using the annual rings on the end grain and the medullary rays. So we know it's wood now. Now we want to label the parts because there's two pieces in it and a face side. A face side here as well. So A and B and a face side on each of those. And after this we're going to dimension the piece. Even though this doesn't contain any dimensions here, we still have nice proportions and it's going to look very, very close to what we have want to make at the end. 